Hello everyone, welcome to IIT Madras Routine Community. So let's solve the grade assignment of week 2 of statistics 1 course, right? So let's start. So here we are with question number 1. It says the which of the following statements are true, okay? So to represent the share of a particular category, so this is the important one, share of a particular category, bar chart is the most appropriate graphical representation so this actually is wrong because we want to represent a share right that means a part or something like that so for that a pie chart is very much appropriate right it's a bar chart is you know it's kind of tells you about the frequency or the number of occurrence or like that some sort of data which is like in this year this kind of uh, like in in like if you talk about production in this year this much production happened so like these things we can represent in a bar graph but if we want to represent some part like among this uh, this certain quantity this much is uh, is uh, like this much amount we have spent this much in some something and and the other part is in something so then then you have to use or you should use uh, the pie chart right so so, so for share pie chart is more important or more uh, appropriate so this option will be wrong okay if categorical variable has is ordinal then the bar chart must preserve the order right so this actually is right because uh, why so because uh, you know uh, uh, see ordinal means that uh, it has the properties of nominal that means the the uh, the, uh, the variable is kind of a nominal thing but the order matters so the bar chart must preserve the order in which the all those things are occurring right uh, like <clears throat> if we have to uh, you know uh, say that first position like in, among in a school there are we have to find in all the classes how many uh, uh, no let's not take this but uh, you can think of like um, how many grade A uh, things or the grade A objects had been produced from a, from, from a factory, right? So grade A, grade B, grade C, we can measure. So uh, for this, you know, if this is ordinal, then the bar chart must also preserve the order of ordinal. Like A should be written first and like that, right? So this is actually correct. Okay. A bar chart is used to get the count of corresponding categories in the data. So this is also correct. We have discussed why in the first option. So then the last option says a bar chart cannot be plotted vertically. So this is actually uh, wrong because um, you know bar chart we can plot like this also, right? And even like this, like this, right? So both are correct. So this option is, it says cannot. So this is wrong. Okay. So let's move ahead. Yeah, this question. So for this question. Um, it says that table this represent the way student commute to school on a regular basis right okay so public transport x car y and like that okay so and uh, only one relative frequency is given which is 0.2 of walk okay and number of students are also given that's 25 okay so let's let's try to find this uh, what is the total number of students okay what is the total number of students so how to find that so we just try to uh, you know take this one because it's the only given information with us let's that let's this to be a reference so uh, 0 0.2 is the relative frequency which means that x plus y oh no sorry uh, which means that uh, 25 upon x plus y plus z plus w plus 25 like 0 0.2 is equal to this thing so and this covers each and every uh, uh, this uh, quantity or the number of students over here so this is the total number of students so 0 0.2 is nothing but 2 by 10 or 1 by 5 I would say so x plus y plus z plus w plus 25 is equal to 25 into 5 which is equal to 125 right so the number of total total number of students is 125 right so now let's 
uh, solve the sec uh, next question it says that if 75 students are going to school by public transport right car and cycle okay then how many students are going the school by bike alone okay so 75 students are what they are going by public transport so x plus car y plus cycle which which is z right so this is the thing then how many students are going to school by bike alone okay very nice we have the total number of students so x plus y plus z plus w plus uh, 25 is equal to 125 we are having right x plus y plus z it's given that is 75 plus uh, this thing uh, w is also given and 25 is given uh, by the questions question only right so uh, this is nothing but your 25 plus 25 is 100 and 125 minus 100 is 25. so this uh, the answer of this question is that uh, students number of students who are going to school by bike alone is 25 right okay see here bike has w so we have found the answer okay now let's move ahead and if 20 students are going to school by bike okay then what is the combined relative frequency of public transport car and cycle okay. so it says that 20 students are going to school by bike right so now the w here is given to us which is 20 okay so now we have to act accordingly so w is given as 20 uh, if 20 students are going to school by bike okay uh, what is the combined relative frequency of public transport car and cycle okay so we need to find x plus y plus z right uh, upon 125 since the total number of students was this so uh, what what this would be this would be your 125 which was the total number of uh, students minus uh it was uh, it would be 20 plus 25 upon 125 so it would be 125 minus 45 upon 125 so this is 0 and this is here 8 125 and this would be your 0 0.25 